fall is right around the corner, it might be a great time to start planning and preparing for those home repairs or renovations that may be on your to-do list. Our friends at Centris Federal Credit Union can help you explore ways to check some of those renovations off your list with financial help of a home equity loan or home equity line of credit. Federally insured by NCUA, equity housing lender. Welcome back to another Doctor's Diagnosis presented by Centris Federal Credit Union. And Dr. Rob, the offense against Georgia Southern for Nebraska was not a problem whatsoever. I don't think offense was a problem at all on Saturday night. For both teams, quite frankly, you saw a lot of fireworks put up. So this is the play where Nebraska, you're in the second quarter. They end up actually tying up the game here 14-all. So this is a play, kind of the things that I want people to look at. you got Brody Belt here who's going to come down ends up essentially playing, I consider it a tight end spot. I'm not sure if you really want to look at it as a split position, but I'm calling him the tight end on this play. You've got the linebackers right here for Georgia Southern. And what you're going to see is those guys do not really jump on him. This guy especially probably should be getting on him. Even in the zone coverage, he ought to be coming back and being kind of covering this area right here and preventing Brody from getting that pass. Brody blow, blows past him. You see both guys come back and essentially manning a zone kind of right in this area right here. Brody's going to be back here where he scores that touchdown. So this is kind of a, a spot where I think this was really a breakdown and a failure during the game of Georgia Southern's defense, which we did not see a lot of, but it was one play where they really kind of broke down and got Nebraska in a position where they could come back and, and essentially kind of maintain a, a little bit of leverage in the game. These guys look locked on Casey Thompson. And, and they do, and that's something that I think is probably what did hold them in this position is that they were worried about his running ability. If you look at the formation, there's no running back in the play here that they would be on. There's no true tight end. If you look at what you've got here along the line, you've got the five offensive linemen, you've got Casey Thompson in there. There's no tight end. There's no running back. You've got the linebackers right here. You've got Brody right here, still heading into the end zone. Look at where these look at where these two guys are their eyes are at. Both of these guys are forward facing. They're still worried about A, Casey Thompson taking off or Casper the friendly ghost at running back scoring. And this was just a breakdown defensively, I think, for Georgia Southern. And the truth is, once he got the step, it was over from that point, right? It really was. And it was kind of a quick hitting play. Brody got down the field, was open in the end zone, really before these guys had a chance to react. Their eyes were on Casey Thompson that whole time during the play. Of course, the offense was not the problem for Nebraska against Georgia Southern. The defense was, and that's coming up tomorrow on another Stocks Diagnosis presented by Centris Federal Credit Union.